Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. You're watching Calm Street Tank on Thinking Reef. So today I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about my system. So I'm um, just in a water change. It's Sunday today. Uh, things look a bit murky. I've actually taken some cuttings off my uh, elephant ear there and also off my uh, toadstool, which you can see at the back there, because I'm going to put in the nano. Uh, but I just wanted to talk to you today a little bit about maintenance. Um, and then just kind of observing and making sure you're checking things um, regularly. So what I noticed the last couple of days was I've started to get some green hail allergy, especially down this section of the tank here. You can see a little bit still there, although I've done a water change today. Um, and then you can see um, it's starting to build up and things on the rocks. Um, so I started to wonder why that was. Obviously, um, at the moment, I actually don't have that much cleanup crew in the, the system. I think I've got maybe two hermit crabs, I've got a Halloween and I've got a little um, striped leg hermit that I've had there, hermit that I've had in the tank for a while, so um, it's possibly time to put in some extra cleanup crew, um, but that probably isn't the root of the problem, so yeah, so today what I did obviously I was doing a water change, so I took a bit of more of a, a look into the sump and things, and what I found was, is if you can look at my skimmer as you can see, it's extremely dirty on the outside, and what had actually happened for whatever reason the skimmer's kicked in the overdrive and has been overflowing everything that was in the, the skimmer cup um, back into the sump and into the system. So obviously that's pumped all the nutrients into the system um, for whatever reason. So it's guess, guess it's just to highlight to you guys that um, whatever you're doing, just make sure you're checking your kit regularly. Um, my dad, I work full time, so I'm a little bit busy. Uh, I do find it kind of difficult, but I suppose there's not really any excuse for not checking a skimmer cup really. Um, so that's pumped a lot of nutrients back in my system. Uh, the other thing I've noticed that when I was doing my water ch uh, change today is that in this filter silk here, I actually run um, a load of Roafos um, to take the phosphates out. Um, but for whatever reason, the last time I did the water change, I haven't actually topped up the Roafos. So the sock was actually completely empty and I wasn't running any kind of nutrient export for phosphates. So that's obviously been what the problem was, guys. So. Yeah, just I guess keep an eye on your media, keep an eye on your your skimmer and your kit. Um, pumps can go um, when you're running a refugium before your skimmer. It's not an ideal setup in the Red Sea Reefer. Um, it can get clogged with uh, cheeto algae and stuff, so it can clog your skimmer up and not skim properly. So I guess the, the lesson here, guys, is just observe. If things are changing, you know, look into it because the chances are there's something not right somewhere. Um, and there's a couple of things obviously went wrong for me this week. So... Um, yeah, again, it just highlights that um, things don't go, go right for everybody all the time. You see my Halloween helmet, helmet there, actually. It's a nice little guy. Um, things don't go right all the time for everybody, guys. People make mistakes. Things happen. Um, people tend to show you the best of their systems. So I thought I'd just do a quick video just to say, um, you know, obviously I made a mistake this week. The other mistake I'd made, made was putting a couple of SPS plugs in among all this GSP. Um, there's a couple here. Uh, the one on the left, uh, I think it's a monopolar digitata, is okay, but as you can see, my burning ember is uh, not looking great at all. Um, obviously, it's just after a water change, so the corals and stuff are sh uh, silking, but um, hopefully, I've saved it in time. I've taken it off. Uh, I read online that GSP wasn't that aggressive, but read somewhere else that it is. So, if you're looking up online, guys, make sure you're looking at more than one source because obviously, that was some bad advice I took somewhere. So, uh, lesson learned there. Um, and we're probably going to look to remove some of that GSP because it's overtaken. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. As I said, this is Callum's Reef Tank on Finkering Reef. Um, hit the subscribe button um, and hit the bell button below if you want to be notified of any new videos. And jump over to my Instagram and follow me on there, guys, if you're not on there. Or likewise, if you're on my Instagram and you're not on my YouTube, jump over there and give me a follow there. All right, guys, thanks for watching.